Tommy McHugh from Liverpool knows the other, rougher side of the male brain. Much of the last 50 years of his life have been taken up with brawling and fighting. In his early 20s, he was detained at Her Majesty's pleasure for drugs and violent offences. After that, he drifted from job to job. One day, when Tommy was sitting on the toilet, everything changed at a stroke, or, more accurately, with a stroke in his brain. The two hemorrhages bleeding in Tommy's head could only be stopped with metal clips. Ten days later, Tommy was sent back home to a new life and to a wife whom he no longer recognized. The former construction worker had now begun to speak in verse and a few other things got mixed up too. Up until his stroke, Tommy's interest in art was limited to the tattoos he'd had done while in jail. Now he was spending, often without even noticing it, hours and hours with his own paintings, sculptures and poems. The hemorrhage in his head has turned the street fighter into a gentle soul. Is, in consequence, the sex of our brains reversible with a single stroke? Yeah, I think the stroke has took every bit of aggression out of me. You know, you look at these hands. These hands are broken and destroyed by fighting. These knuckles are smashed by hitting people and fighting. And, and the, the, this finger is, is cut off with a milk bottle by fighting someone with a milk bottle. I'd rather have this life simply because it's opened me up to a person I feel it should have been 40 years ago. I've had all the macho maleness wiped from me. Tommy McHugh will never be checked inside an MRI scanner. The magnetic fields that the machine produces could make the tiny metal clips that stopped his brain bleeding slip out of place. The tests that were carried out directly after his operation didn't show anything unusual. Yet after his stroke, Tommy is a completely different man. He's no longer driven by unrestrained aggression, but rather by an odd compulsion to artistic expression. Tommy no longer speaks with his fists, but just as maniacally, with his poetry and painting. But as his memory gradually returns, Tommy wonders every day who he really is. Yesterday's macho man, the sensitive artist he is today, or a mere puppet in the hands of his brain. I did wander lonely as a cloud that floats on high on Baylon hills, and all at once I saw a host of crowd of golden daffodils. Along the lake beneath the trees, 10,000 dancing in the breeze. I'm living the strange alien world, here. I fight alone to understand the person I am now, the artist that you see, the human being that you see. It's a learning lesson for me every, every day of my life, and um, it's valuable. It's just difficult for me to get understanding from many other people. Motivated neuron psychologist somewhere, a motivated man who wants to, to interpret the clip and the coil in the brain here, to understand that it's not just me got this, we've all got it. In 20 or 30 years' time, you'll come out with a mental thing, uncapped, and plug it on your brain, and you'll be able to be an artist, or a kook, or a ballet dancer, or rock and roll.